Howdy, partners. I'm TV Smell. Oh, gosh. All right, we really gotta hurry because it's hot up in this place. Ow! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to make you hot. Howdy, partners. Welcome back to the Sam and Monica channel. We are in the USA at the moment in Monica's bedroom, if you guys recognize the bedroom. So obviously we're in New York. I arrived just over a week ago. Much longer than that. Oh my gosh, I, I like arrived two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago. <laughs> I got here two weeks ago. Actually, yeah, two weeks ago yesterday. And uh, we've been having some fun traveling around. We've been to Jersey, Connecticut. Like twice. Twice, New York, stuff like that. Also, if you see me profusely sweating, it's because it's so hot. Yeah, what, what temperature it's is so it today? Hot. Like 90? Like 90. Right now, we have the windows closed, the air conditioning off, and the fans off. So we're kind of like overheating. And when she says the air conditioning off, what she means is she doesn't have any air conditioning. A little baby one. Okay, she has an air conditioning unit this size that is apparently meant to cool down this room, but it, right. it, it doesn't work. What we're doing today is we're reacting to episode three. Four, I believe. So, guys. Wait. Know. It is four. So, guys, what we're doing today is we are reacting to episode four of our new MTV show on Snapchat, Wrong Distance Relationship. Yes. Now, if you haven't watched that yet, we're going to put a link below to the episode on Snapchat, so make sure you watch that because there is going to be spoilers in this video. Uh, if you can't click the link, if you're on your phone, or actually no, if you're not on your phone, if you're on a computer, do this little snap code thingy majiggy and uh, you can go straight to it. This episode, I'm just going to say straight off the bat, was definitely not my favourite episode that we've filmed with MTV. So I feel like this episode had the most drama in it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it definitely had the most drama in it. That's really loud, isn't it? I'm sorry guys, as soon as we stop filming, some of the neighbors decides to cut their grass. Wow, this could be like a YouTube video. Who could last longer in this room? Oh my gosh, we should do like a Mr. Beast kind of thing. Just put everyone in this room, because it's like 90 and very humid in this room at the moment. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be talking about this episode. Like Sam said, it was probably the most dramatic episode so far. Monica's least favorite so far. Yeah, definitely my least favorite so far. Probably my favorite because they kept in this part where I do. Oh keep yeah. In. Okay, actually, it might be my favorite episode just for that. <laughs> so basically, in this episode, um, we go through the whole process of Sam is back in the UK and he's about to move in to the apartment that we got together. However, I have not been to the apartment yet. We discussed this in the last video. I have seen photos and stuff, but I was never physically there. I never saw it in person. You saw it on FaceTime as yeah, well. On FaceTime. You looked around on FaceTime twice and like everything you wanted mm -hmm. to see, like I would show you and stuff. Yeah. So she pretty much saw yeah. the whole apartment. Like she she knew exactly what we were getting. Yeah. But I was never actually there, so that's why when we're talking about that in the episode, if you're confused, when I say like I I've, I've never seen it. I mean in person. Yeah. Sam gives me a tour of the apartment on the phone when he is a little bit moved in. Obviously not everything was moved in at that this time. Was like, this was like a day after moving in mm. and I literally had a whole room of boxes still. Literally the only things I'd unpacked was I had a mattress on the floor, I had some weights in the kitchen, not even all my weights, there was still a ladder in the kitchen. Um, and I had those drawers that I moved over. Like a lot of my stuff was still at my parents house where I was keeping it in storage. And the majority... Does there really need to be an ice cream truck now? Fun, fun fact, when I was a kid, my parents would tell me that when the music was on an ice cream truck, it was out of ice cream. But yeah, the majority of my stuff was still in boxes, so literally the apartment looked so bare. So I was showing Monica around, and like I said, there was literally just a mattress on the floor. My toothbrush was on the floor because we didn't have any no like weights. shelves or anything like that. Yeah, weights and my drawers and a rug. I put a rug <laughs> down. Fun fact, my parents bought me that rug. I love that rug and Monica actually didn't like the rug. The rug was not my favorite just because we were going for a whole like white and gray vibe. and it was The kind rug of blue. was white! It was blue and white, so it kind of didn't fit. However... I let him keep the rug. I would just like everyone to know that. No, you didn't. Yes, you did. made me move it room. to utility room we still where have it couldn't rug. be seen. No, every time someone goes to the bathroom, they see it and trust me, he goes to the bathroom a lot. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, but the rug is still there. I did not let the rug, it's not my favorite rug, but I couldn't get rid of it. The whole um, point of the episode is, so I FaceTime Monica, show her around the apartment. Monica's not overly keen on it. And then she goes to a restaurant to have some food with her sister Liz. And Liz is like, girl, like, you need to call him. <laughs> that like, was in the last you need episode. to figure this out. Like, I hope it works out for you. Yeah, that was very dramatic. She's like, I hope this all works out. But then again, like, of course, like, I hope we work out. But it was kind of like, 
very dramatic, which was kind of funny. Also, a lot of the reason why a lot of his stuff was in random spots, it did not stay there. He wasn't going to keep it there because obviously he just moved in. He put it wherever it was going to be. Yeah, so. just to clarify, my kind of home gym thing, I didn't keep it in the kitchen. That did shock there. me though. Like when he showed me the kitchen, he's like, this is going to be my weight area. I was like, in the kitchen? <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> we moved it to, we made like a weight room. Yeah, we made like a, a gym slash studio slash office room. So yeah. that's where we ended up putting those. Um, the dressers, the reason I didn't like the dressers there was because it's right in front of the radiator, so that was not going to be good for the dressers, and it's just so messy, that area, having it so, like, blocked out. Yeah, you actually, so when Monica did come to the UK and, and kind of see the apartment in person, you did add some, like, some Monica finishing touches, and, like, basically, Monica's obsessed with marble, <laughs> marble everything, to the point where my grandma, every single time she sees anything in marble, whether it's a chopping board or a plant pots or whatever, she buys it for Monica. Love you, Nancy. So Monica came in and put a load of like plants around the apartment and bought these cute like shelves and like posters and all this adorable stuff and she made the apartment home 100%. Yeah, you loved all this. Stuff. Oh, here we go, the star of a show is here. No, come back, come back, we need your input. Hi, Amy. What did you think of the last episode? I really enjoyed it. <laughs> People said I'm a B-word. Why? People thought that Liz was mean. She's really not mean. She just kind of came on mean. It's because you, you're not like comfortable in front of cameras, are you? So like you just kind of... Not at all. There are yeah. cameras and people. Which is weird because Liz is like the most outgoing person yeah, ever in like real the life. The part where Liz and I are in the restaurant talking, I like fully vented everything to her and uh, she didn't reply. So that was really awkward scene to film because like they're like, Liz, you gotta answer her. Do you want to reply? Because she felt really awkward answering on camera to like all these random people. Are you hiding behind Monica now? Yeah, now she's hiding. I told you, she's not good on the camera. Oh, you're going? It's so hot. Okay, bye. bye. Bye, girl. There's a teaser for the next episode, and that is when we talk about kids. So I'm really curious to see how that comes out. Yeah, on film I'm curious to see how that plays out on film because yeah. Monica and I, this is very real. We do have very con contrasting views on the amount of children we want. Yeah. I'm not going to go into detail because we'll get probably, in that next video. Yeah, it was just it's because it's such short episodes. It's hard to kind of clarify everything yeah. within a lot the of space of a minute. And don't a half make or two it minutes. into the episode. So. Yeah, exactly. Like we're filming for a day for for two minutes worth of episode time. Um, so it's obviously it's nothing on MTV. They can't fit any more information in. Hence why we're doing these kind of reviews and reactions and stuff to give you guys some more information that obviously couldn't be included in the episode because there wasn't time for it to be included yeah. in the episode. So, anyway, go. Did you just fart? No, that was my foot sliding down the No, <laughs> quick. Okay, Monica's getting aggravated now because it's like 95 in here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. 140% humidity. <laughs> the next reaction video will have broken up because she'll, she'll have kicked me out of New York for talking <laughs> nonstop when she's trying to stop the recording. And I'm just going to continue talking because <laughs> Thank you guys she's so not going to want to stop video. recording we'll while I'm video. <laughs> Okay, we'll peace out, guys. Video. We're gonna go pass out of the heat now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>